Good morning, children. How are you? Fine. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, so um, so can we all start our videos? Many of them have not joined, right? <coughs> oh, I hate this cough. Mustafa and Mariam Kazi, please start your videos. Yeah. A very good morning to all of you. Yes. Did you all have a good breakfast today, children? Yes. Mustafa, what did you have today for breakfast? Paratha, wow. So now you're paratha king then, huh? Because you ate paratha. Hi, Umema. Umema can't hear you, but are you there in my class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you have your breakfast? Yes. What did you have for breakfast? Makhana. Wow, nice. Very healthy breakfast. Good. Are you on a diet? No. Okay. I love your hair, you know, Emma. I love the way it falls. Very nice. Okay, Mariam. Mariam Kazi, hello. I don't know, Mariam Kazi is there. Oh, yeah, she's there. Hi. Amazing balloons. <laughs> How are you doing, Mariam? Good. Good. That's nice. And um, did you have your breakfast? I know what you had. You had Nutella and bread, right? No, I had donuts. Oh, you had donut today. Okay. I know you always have something with chocolate in the morning, right? Yes. Chocolate is your favorite. Yeah. See, See how I know? Okay. I don't know where the rest. Shall we begin? One second. I'll just put a, a message in the...
All right, children, let's begin. Okay, because I don't know if the others are going to join. Anyway, if they have missed, they'll watch the recording, right? So uh, let's begin. So let's do the comprehension answers of last time. Okay, you remember, children, we had uh, done this. The water in the water. Yeah, about the water. water. The water. Yeah. So we we last time we learned that we should not waste water, right? So now can you tell me what is the percentage of Earth's water that we can use for drinking? Three percent. Very good. And why is this figure so low? Because we are being wasting waters and doing uh, water activities. Okay. But mostly the water is covered, uh, earth is covered with what kind of water? Salty water. water. Only in the pools there is fresh water. And all yeah. of them are frozen. Also. So, there is a lot of water on earth. But most of it is salty and cannot be used for... I'm so sorry, children. Cannot be used for drinking. Okay? Very nice. So uh, let's go to the next one. Name four different things we use water for. Can you tell me the four different things? Water in plants, drinking, and washing. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, children, there are some questions where you have to think and answer. Okay. Now, did you uh, did the extract persuade you to use less water? What, did, it, like, did this extract persuade you to use less water? Meaning, ma'am, what what extract? Persuade means did it convince you that you know uh, I have to use less water? Mm, no. 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 Okay. Why no, Mama Dali? Why it didn't convince you? Ma'am, what didn't convince me to use less water? Now you have uh, learned, right, that so much water is it saved or wasted in the world? Can you tell me? Uh, wasted. Isn't water being wasted? Yes, ma'am, it's being wasted. Yeah. Okay. Like, see, uh, we, we, we saw here, you know, people often leave houses on for longer than if needed and waste water. For many small gardens, it's not really necessary to use a hose and a sprinkler. 
Use a watering can instead. With watering, you can make sure that the water goes only where it is needed and none is wasted. So many people, um, they waste water in many ways, right? So now we know how much percent of water is there in the world? 3%. 3% of drinking water. So don't you think we need to save water? Yes, ma'am, we need to. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, uh, this abstract that we have read, right? Did you find any facts interesting or surprising? Any facts or surprising? Interesting. What did you find interesting or surprising? There was something that was very surprising for me. Any facts, something that you found very surprising? Any fact? Uh, we all need at last on a <coughs> letter of water a day to keep us alive. For our daily use, how much of liters of water do we use in a day? Okay, we need one liter of water to drink to keep us alive. But how much of water do we use in a in a day? How much? One hundred and forty. Yes. Umema, why are you muted? Why are you not answering, Bita? Are you there in my class? Yes. Yes. So, how many liters of water we are using in a day? One forty liters. And ma'am, and ma when we flush eight thousand um um gallons of water goes. Yeah. Do you know children in Japan? It is very no, interesting. Ma yeah. Ma'am, no. Only five liters of water get wasted in the flushing. And Japan, if you wash your basins in the hand, it will go in the flush tank. Yes, correct. Yes. Wash your hands in the basin. <laughs> correct. You're right, Mama Dali. Good. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, what was I saying? Hmm. So, if we add industry and farming, then a person uses 600 liters of water. So, this is very, very interesting, right? All right. Good to go to the next question. Now, can you tell me how would you feel if the water supply to your house was cut off? And if it happened to you, would you use less water in the future? No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Suppose now, okay, just imagine, Maram Kazi, you get up in the morning and you think, okay, now I'm going to go and brush my teeth. And you open the tap and there's no water. What will you do, Maryam? I would wait for the I wait. I I would like use less water. There is no water only. There is no water only. What you'll do? Uh, I just wait for the water to come. Hmm. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Hi. So, how would you feel? Would you feel happy or sad? Suppose the water supply to your house was cut off. No, no, very sad. Yeah, you would be very, very sad. Sad, you would be yeah. devastated, right? Because water is so important. Imagine when you have to attend nature's call in, mon in the morning and there's no water to clean ourselves. 
what's going to happen to us have you even thought about it in the morning everybody goes to attend nature's call right and yeah. imagine there's no water to clean yourself how will it be mamudali will you be smiling or will you be crying will you be saying ammi or you'll be calling out ammi where is the water ammi right mamudali <laughs> yusuf ali will be saying ammi pani nahi aa rahi hai ammi hai na yusuf no he is not going to say that okay i'm just pulling your leg okay all right now uh umar to will call his dadi i think dadi there is no water in the house okay so now in no, the i not call dadi uh, i call dadi my dad okay you will call dadu okay whoever you will call but you will call up to somebody right umar okay <laughs> anyway good to see all of you by the way wherever all of you sidra umar and yusuf and uh, blah 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 wherever you sorry i was having breakfast and i forgot it was class because oh my you forgot how could you forget umar you also forgot i think you were too much in your banana shake today you were too involved umar <laughs> please start your videos children okay kindly requesting you to start your videos <coughs> okay now what style of language is used can you tell me on water okay no but what style of language has been used children on water so is it is formal language or informal language that this extract has used informal uh, yes it is informal why because we see words like we okay then uh, there are words like um, yeah that you can see like there's we over here so we basically uh, tries to uh, give you like even the words like you are used right when you use a tap so it's very informal it's not a formal writing style okay great now let us go to the next one what what okay <coughs> so now we are done with these comprehension answers let us go to the next one Man, what's this? Yeah, that's what this. I, I was thinking I will do at the end. Okay, it's about writing a letter. Okay, that I will teach you on uh, the next. Let's do this topic now. Explanatory test uh, text. What can you see in this cloud? Okay, now clouds appeared in many different forms. They look like beautiful billowing masses of cotton wool in the. sky okay so um you can see this children can you see this yeah yeah what is this it's a cloud b o v what is this in my hand cotton cotton, cotton, cotton. cotton yeah when you look at the clouds don't they look like this yes, yes. yeah so that is what it is called as okay Beautiful, what is this annotation on the screen? Okay, so uh, basically, uh, they are uh, like as you as I told you, gave you an example of cotton wool in the sky. Okay, 
Now, does anybody know? All right. They can be dark messengers of coming storm. They can light up fantastic lightning or crash and bang with noisy thunder. Can anyone explain to me this? They come as dark. Can I? Yes. Can I? Yes. Can I? Ma'am, 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 can I? Ma'am, can I say? Ma'am, say. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Who's the one? Ma'am, in the night, the in the night the clouds are dark. Okay. In the night. Okay, and then. And. And then the lightning happened, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, and what else? Ma'am, it's destroying some things. Ma'am, it's destroying uh, some uh, some time. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. <coughs> um, I'll ask Mariam Kazi. Mariam Kazi, can you tell me? Yes, ma'am. What? You were supposed to tell me something about the clouds. Uh, about the thunder? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the clouds change to uh, change to gray and then they have rain so they when it's raining uh, and uh, and then the the, the light Mommy, how does lightning rain. come what problem was there Okay, uh, Muhammad Ali, you have raised your hand. <laughs> Would you like to answer? <laughs> Good, Mariam Kazi. Yes, Ma'am, mm -hmm. Ma actually, in the night time, when the, the sky turns dark and when the earth is not facing sun, so the clouds turn gray because of the reflection. In the morning time, there's light, so we can see them white. So over there, lightning, lightning starts because... When, because when the it's raining and the clouds are also gray, so the lightning can strike any piece of land, land or water tank. So the water starts leaking out of it, or or the lightning can strike in the in the uh, electric buildings. Okay, very nice, Muhammad Ali. Explain very nicely. Is science your favorite subject? Yes, ma'am. That's Second why in so much detail. Very good. Okay. Um, so you have asked your mother, right? You said, Mama, why does lightning happen? Right? You asked this question and I heard it with my ears, correct? You want to know why? No, uh, ma'am. I, I already know. I only know. I only, what I know, I, I told you. I don't know. Okay, so now when you're curious, find it out. Right, children? What I told you, when in doubt, what we have to do? Find it out. Find it out. Yes, find it out. Do your own research, right? <coughs> I know you're asking, it's a good thing, but do your own research. Study on your own. Okay? I mean, I'm talking to Mama Dali, right? Yes. So when two clouds touch each other, there is a thundering sound and also there happens to be lightning. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Now, ma'am. What is the meaning of billowing? There's a word over here. Ma'am, right? I, ma I, ma I know clouds fall. Ma'am, I know clouds fall. Okay, that's good. What's the meaning of billowing masses? Billowing masses, mean, masses means billowing masses meaning like when the clouds masses touch means the, the weight the height the weight masses means. Okay. I don't know about billowing. It's basically billowing means to rise or swell. Okay. 
it means to rise or swell like for example uh, the uh, clouds they are like smoke right in the sky yeah so don't they swell up don't they rise can't you see them in the sky yeah <laughs> okay now let us see about rain and water each type of cloud gives an idea of what sort of weather to expect certain types bring rain which bring which provides vital water rain naturally waters the ground and allows plants to grow now farmers need rain to grow crops for people and animals okay <coughs> so now what does a uh, cloud give us cloud gives us rain and water okay now we know water is very vital right for whom is water vital children can you tell me for the universe yes very good so it is to for animals plants everybody all of us need water okay now let's look at the last one trees the biggest and the most important plants in this cycle are trees okay so trees produce filtered clean air and help to form new clouds now wind or heat causes excess rain water to evaporate so that the tiny droplets of water mingle with the air in the right conditions Ma yes ma'am you can continue i'll tell my how clouds form after you okay nice i'm very curious to hear in the right conditions the droplets come together and form clouds once again they in turn will give the water back to the earth in the form of rain continuing in an everlasting sir cycle okay good all right you can explain to me mohammad ali we are all yours yes ma'am actually when the rains when the heat heat is there so the sea seas evaporate not actually seas droplets start coming up because of the evaporation and and then the the droplets are in the sky then if there is some dust in the sky touches the dust particles and then clouds start forming and when the cloud is heavy with a lot of droplets it starts raining very good very nice explanation mohammad ali i think you are going to become a scientist i like the way you have uh, i'm not joking okay i like the way you have explained you know it, it, it that paragraph is explained in a very difficult way but you made it so simple very good it's a gift you know mohammad ali nice i appreciate it good all right so we have understood now about trees let's see these questions if we can answer them okay all right uh, children next week uh, i won't be there i have some um, assignment to do so i won't be there i'll be out of station um so next week i won't be there i want you to complete all the comprehension answers okay and i want you to be ready so then then in the last part we can do grammar and all okay okay ma'am ma'am i'll complete all my assignments okay so now can you tell me which sentences below is true all clouds look the same true or false 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 okay. the shape is different the shape is different hmm mama actually the cloud have a fixed shape only yeah crops need water to grow true hmm trees cause rain water to evaporate false false Oh, okay. Good. Remember, sun. Oh. Remember, sun. Sun or sun is there. So then, the like the anything like wet, wet part, like it evaporates on the cloud. Yes, very good, Sidra. Okay. Now, what do you think? Why do you think clouds are referred as messengers in the extract? Meaning, ma'am, what messengers? Why are they messengers? you know there was uh, the thing which said that you know that they are like messengers they are messengers of what 
clouds. Weather. Of, uh, of yes. Sky. Weather. Yes, weather. they are messengers of weather. The weather. What to expect, right? Is there a storm going to come? Or uh, like you know, uh, is it going to be rainy season? Is it going to be sunny? What tells us? Bam, but sir. Yeah, tell me. Ma'am, actually, it is tell by the clouds color, or it can tell <laughs> by how many clouds are there. Yes, so that is why clouds are like when messengers. The cloud is because when the clouds are gray, it's monsoon. It's starting to rain, and when the clouds are pink, it start. It's starting to be night, meaning yes. uh, evening. Correct. Now, can you tell me water is described as vital in the extract? What does this mean? Why? Ah, uh, I don't know. What is the meaning of vital? Vital meaning like it has. Uh, it's like little bit white color. Vital. What is the meaning of vital? Um, I don't know. <gasps> you don't know the meaning of vital. Am I know? Am I know? Am I know? Oh. Tell me. Tell me. What is it, Sidra? Ma'am, it means that like it is necessary and exactly also. necessary. So why is water necessary? Why is it important? Because we because ma'am, water is the first uh the first needed natural thing, and then is air, and then we need water for everything, right? Basically, how how many days we can live without water? Ma'am, I can live half a day. Three I days, ma'am. Three days. Only three water. days we can live without water. Otherwise, we will die. Okay. Ma'am, I can live half a day. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Now, what is the importance of trees in water cycle? What is the importance of trees in the water cycle? Trees give us oxygen, uh, and they like uh, they can create and uh, not create, and they form like clouds too. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Ma'am, one of ma'am, one drop of water has only two percent of oxygen. Oh, I didn't know that. Because when there is a N and attached to it like this, there's O and O, the so oxygen, oxygen, and this is N. I forgot the N, but I know the oxygen, oxygen. Okay. If you see now, the, if you see water microbes. Yeah. Okay, now you have to choose one paragraph in the extract and summarize it in one sentence. Ma'am, extract means? Extract means like this tree. You're asking me what is an extract? Trees, like for example, now trees, right? There's something written about trees. So the short thing written is an extract. So which extract do you like? Ma'am, I love the trees one. Tree. Okay, so you are going to summarize the whole paragraph. Okay, summarize means what? In one sentence, you are going to tell me what each uh, paragraph is about. Okay, or each uh, extract is about. Like for example, let's take this one: rain and water. Okay, so how you can uh, say this? Uh, you you can like just in one sentence of the second extract, rain and water. You can say that clouds like give us an idea of what weather to expect, and certain types of rain uh, bring uh, water which is vital for plants and animals to grow. Okay, so what I have done now? How many paragraph? How many sentences are there in this paragraph? One, two, three, four. Right. So now, what we have to do? We have to summarize it in one sentence. So what I have done? How I have made the sentence? I have said 
that clouds give us an idea of what kind of weather to expect okay and certain types bring rain which is vital for plants and animals as well as for humans so what i have done is children now they have like you know made it into long right like certain types bring rain which provides vital water rain uh, waters the ground and allows plants to grow farmers need to grow crops so what i have done is i have just summarized the whole thing okay made it short so in a just if you have to tell what is the second extract just giving you an example okay what the second extract is you can just say a cloud gives us an idea of what weather to expect and certain uh, clouds uh, or certain types of clouds bring us rain which is vital for plants animals and humans okay did you understand children yes ma'am okay so that is how we have to do okay now uh, what we are going to do children this connectives and all right i will do it in the next uh, this next month i will do with you okay uh, now what i wanted you to do was children i wanted you to um, this one right which is there i want you to do this as an assignment okay it will come for your exam as to where you know uh, it says now discuss your ideas with the partner now do you think that it is true that some people are not careful with water discuss your ideas with a partner and together write a letter to your local newspaper persuading people to be more careful and avoid wasting water so what you're going to do is you are going to write a letter you're going to imagine and write a letter okay or maybe you can instead of writing a letter you can just you know send me an email okay imagine i am a person who uh, is the owner of a local newspaper so you are going to write to me a letter okay i just want you to practice now at home but for your exam you are going to do this okay this activity you are going to do so what you have to do is yeah ma'am actually what how will i email you I'll give you my email ID. Okay, ma'am. Uh, at the exams time, right? Exam time, yeah. But now, since you all will, you all will be having time, right? Now in this one week, I want you to do this in your notebook. Okay, like you have to write your address. Remember to write the date. Okay, address it properly, dear sir, madam. Introduce yourself. Explain the reason of your letter. Okay, have a nice opening sentence. Include your opinion. You know everything is given very nicely over here. Okay, so you have to. You can take your own letter. Yeah, but it has to be to the local newspaper. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, ma so we can do it. Ma'am, we can do it on software or put it on hardware also. Assignment. Yeah. So now, basically, at present, now you're just going to do it. on your rough in a rough way you're going to do it okay but actually in the exam then because this will contain marks okay it will contain marks so kindly please do it all right i want to okay, see ma'am. how creative you all can get so kindly please complete the poem okay the poem of the previous unit about um uh, which which i had uh, told you to do then we have to do this comprehension answers Okay, and do Mom, this lineage. assignment in your notebook. Okay, ma'am, lineage. Yes, yes, lineage. Ma'am, I wrote. Ma'am, I read it two times. Okay, very good, very nice. Ma'am, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm all finish finishing my assignment because I am almost at the with you. Yeah. Because ma'am, you don't take offline classes. Only the other teachers take. So I am very good at English. But science, my both lectures are offline, so I can also not talk for my both science. Okay. Yeah. How many level would Raja ma'am have taught me in the my last classes? So you go to uh, Navi Mumbai for classes, Mamadali. 
No, ma'am, I cannot join. Okay. Because it'll be very far for you, no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. Okay. But I get some details or something on my email. So then I let a little bit follow up. Yeah. See, children, I don't want you to take and write a letter and then send it to me. You know, it's a big process. So now everything is digital, right? Everything is on the computer or everything. Else. So better just send me an email and finish it off. Okay. Send me as quickly as possible. I don't know today Manha has not joined. Yes, ma'am. She didn't join in the last classes also. I hope she's okay. Yes, ma'am. I think she's only attending the offline. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Because I don't have any news of her. Okay, okay. Yes, Umaima, Yusuf, Sidra, Mariam, Mustafa, Humaira, Muhammad Ali. Do you all have any questions to ask me? No, uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Ma I'm going to miss you next week. Everybody's name is this in the class. Like, yeah, because I can't leave out anybody, right? I mean, uh, it doesn't look good. Okay. It is an amazing class, children. And I'm going to miss you next week. Please complete all your assignments and see you next week in March. Bye. Ma'am, I did all the assignments. Sorry? Ma'am, I did all the assignments. Why do you need to do more assignments? Um, I think this is more than enough for you children. <laughs> I don't want to burden you, you know. Okay? Ma'am, actually, ma'am, actually, are you going to meet us next Friday? No. Okay, ma'am. So the whole week you want to no, this whole week I'm not there, okay? Don't miss me too much, okay, children? Okay, ma'am. What are you saying? Okay, ma'am. <laughs> okay, bye. See you. Take care. Bye. bye. You almost be saying, Chalo, ek week chutti, na? From me. <laughs> bye. 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 Take care. All the best. Love you all. Bye.